Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be discussing our blonde dreams and how my blonde dreams came true. <laughs> People ask me how did you even decide to go blonde and how did you do it and what do you use to maintain your hair now I don't think that I am a blonde expert but I really was intimidated by the fact that a lot of people would tell me that being a blonde is really high maintenance and now I'm like okay like it's not that serious I have always wanted to be blonde I am a natural brunette I've always wanted to do like that nice ombre effect and I never really knew exactly how to do it right you have to do your research I would recommend going on Instagram and following a couple of hairstylists who you know have so many photos of their work because that's really the only way that you can tell a good hairstylist from a hairstylist who doesn't have as much experience with um, hair coloring my hair was a dark brown I toned it about four years ago because I had a really bad hair experience my hair turned pink and I was crying. It was just not a pleasant experience. So I decided, okay, you know, maybe this isn't for me. I just kept cutting it and cutting it uh, to get it to that healthy virgin hair state. Um, so after four years, I decided to uh, speak to my hairstylist who is uh, Jessica and I will be posting her information below for anybody who is in the DMV area and wants to check her out I decided to do an ombre hair color if we start doing it now by the end of the year I could have the color that I really want and yes you have to do it in steps if not your hair will not be as healthy and you may have thick hair now and then end up with thin hair which is not what we want we want our tresses to be healthy and thick and glossy and shiny and fabulous I did that in March so in July I decided to do another hair session which is when she did my whole hair because it was ombre we went to an ashy blonde from the end of july i didn't see her again until this past weekend so i had about three i could say three inches of roots on my head um of my natural hair color and it was just really aggravating and that is what makes blonde hair high maintenance because this right here looks perfect i love it but once this starts growing out those roots will drive your girl nuts okay and that is the part that you know you have to maintain it you have to see your you know your hairstylist every about six weeks is when you should get a touch up for those roots so i actually waited more than that i think i waited maybe 12 weeks before i went back for my first uh touch up now i can stick to that uh to see her every six weeks so that i can get those pesky little roots out of the way and just maintain this blonde mane that i have now sometimes it does look silver but it is just a really ashy um blonde my hair has remained thick and it is shiny and the fallout is very minimal that also depends on if you wear a lot of uh, ponytails and if you do a lot of like buns and updos it's normal for your hair to fall out so I'm gonna just walk you guys through what my hair routine is and it might be different than anybody else's routine again use the products that work for you this is what works for me and this has been trial and error so now I feel very confident in my routine and actually taking care of my hair doesn't seem like um, like annoying you fall into the routine really easily and it just becomes a part of your lifestyle if you want to see how i maintain this hair keep watching i wash my hair one to two times a week and the reason i do that is because we really don't have to wash our hair every day when i wash my hair i use the tresemme moisture rich conditioner and shampoo most of the time i only use this one because I only use conditioner once a week and the trick about this conditioner is that I have actually put purple shampoo into my conditioner so while I'm conditioning I'm also toning my hair and I'm in the shower it doesn't get messy the purple shampoo that I use is the Fanola no yellow shampoo 
and this one was recommended to me by a lot of my girlfriends who are blondes as well it has never turned my hair purple and my hair comes out soft and it doesn't smell like chemicals at all and um, I feel like it just balances out the color and it removes those brassy uh, colors and uh, tones from your hair you guys know that I use my rapid dry hair turban this actually helps my hair uh, when I come out of the shower and this prevents my hair from breaking and when I'm done with the hair turban that's when my hair is is dry but damp enough still to where I can apply a leave-in conditioner. I like this cream because I feel like it really does soak up on my hair and it just gives my hair that nice soft texture and it helps repair it. Apply a very generous amount of this into my hair. So you know it's like hair food. That's what I do on a regular hair washing day. Um, when I'm gonna do a hair mask, I always do the hot coconut oil treatment and That works because coconut oil is really good for your hair. It is moisturizing It adds shine and it actually helps soften your hair up too. This is hundred percent pure natural coconut oil I got this at the beauty salon. I leave this on for two hours before I jump in the shower to rinse it off and wash my hair so whenever I feel like my hair is really dry um, or even when it's becoming a little flaky um, and dull, I do a coconut oil hair mask. That's one of my go-to masks. I do take uh, my hair vitamins. So the vitamins that I swear by are the hair, skin, and nails uh, biotin gummies. And you can get these at any drugstore. I swear to goodness. If you take these vitamins, or even if you have your own, your little own biotin uh, vitamins, take them. They're so important in your hair growth. My hair seems to grow really fast. Take your vitamins, very important. Protect your hair against heat. Use a toner or a purple shampoo. Another thing that I found that works for me, especially when I want those effortless beachy waves or you know anything simple just like this, is braids braid your hair so I usually do a French braid and I braid it all the way back and I'll usually do that like early afternoon the day before I'll sleep with this braid on and in the morning I let this braid loose and my hair is just wavy just like I wanted and of course if you want more curly hair you could do two braids instead of one and you will have way more tighter curls that's just a tip that I use often i'm just simply sharing the products and the process i guess that works for me and i just wanted to share with you guys because a lot of you gals have asked me um and i got a lot of compliments on especially the thickness of my hair because we just expect that when we're going to color our hair that we're going to hinder that thickness you know or that our hair won't grow the same anymore it's all a myth okay if you take care of your hair the way that you should your hair will be gorgeous and blonde and healthy and you'll do that perfect hair flip everywhere you want <laughs> thank you guys for watching my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications and don't forget also to follow me on social media so you can see more posts from that becky see you guys in my next video bye